and this is where the mysterious Jason Morgan hangs out. Does a woman live here with you? Excuse me? Just asking. It's more than you think. And the pool table's a nice touch. Who are you calling? As if I didn't know. Why? You and my mother don't even get along. For sure you don't or anything. If you have to call somebody, call dad. Somebody's busy. Oh, this is me. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you sure you're your hospitality? You're not drinking alcohol here. <laughs> I hope you're not dumb enough to think I won't drink it at your house. Oh, I can't control that. Here, drink this instead. I'm not thirsty. But I could get hungry real fast. Wanna hook up with me? <laughs> okay, hold on. I know you're trying to distract me from calling Alexis, but you gotta find a different strategy. Whatever. Call her. I'll just make up a reason for being there. Like... Chandler Ellis. My mom always says she's a train wreck. A disaster waiting to happen. I'll say I heard Chandler was out drinking, and I went to the club to try and talk Randy guy home. Mom will love that. It's caring and responsible. Except here's the glitch. I was able to help Chandler because your big macho self showed up and hauled me away. I could probably work up a pretty good cry by the time she gets here. And why waste it? I'll tell her you tried to have sex with me. Yeah, stick with that one because that, that, that's believable. Are you making fun of me? You? My dad never went flunky? Let me tell you something. If it comes to my mother choosing whether to believe me or you, she'll pick me every time. You want to put it to the test? Go ahead. Call. I'm sorry. Alexis is picking up. Could have left a voicemail. Can always call back, can I? Why don't you just call my dad? Like I said, Sonny's busy. I'll call him if you tell him... Am I kidding? Dad doesn't care what I'm doing. He doesn't even bother to find out. Your father loves you, Christina. Whatever that means. To be fair, I can't blame Dad exclusively. Mom practically hyperventilates at the thought of me spending time with him. But it all works, right? Since he really doesn't want to be bothered. It's uh, obvious that you have some issues with your parents. Maybe you should be discussing this with them. And lose my leverage? Why would I do that? Your leverage? Dad cancels a scheduled visit. I play it off like it's no big deal, so he won't, God forbid, feel pressured. Compared to my mother, I come off like the reasonable one. Then I go to her, all hurt and teary. So wrong about me that my own father doesn't want me around. Mom feels guilty, so she overcompensates. I get a trip to Boston or a flat screen from my bedroom. Mom and Dad shower me with material things, and I'm shallow enough to go with that. It's not perfect, but it's a sweet deal. I'm not gonna be rocking that boat by spilling my feelings all over the floor. You know what? I'm bored. Take me home. Have you seen Michael? What are you talking about? You don't know where he's he is? Yeah, we can't find him. Is he it? Did you find Michael? He's not in the rehabilitation room or anywhere on this floor. We've got people looking for him, but we can't rule out the possibility that Michael may have walked out of the building. Have you seen a teenage boy? Hey, James. Hey, son, how are you? All right, how's it going? Good, good to see you. I'd love to catch up with you, but... Uh, but right now you're looking for a teenage boy. Yeah, yeah, my nephew, Michael Kratos. Uh, as in Sonny? Yeah, right. Michael's recovering from brain surgery, and he's supposed to be in his room, and he's not. He's been complaining about being here a lot. I'm just afraid he took well, off. I was a kid here about a half an hour ago. Said his name was Michael Corbin. That's him. Did you see which way he went? Uh, my guess he didn't uh, get very far. He 
get, the kid could barely stand. He asked me to get him a cab, and I told him that I would after I had somebody take a look at him. And that was it? He left? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Good to see you. Yeah. Hey, it's been out. Uh, Michael's missing from the hospital. I need you to track every cab pickup at General Hospital within the last hour. I need that. Sandwiches are about the extent of my talent. I mean, really, where would I learn anything else? Alexis is still a disaster in the kitchen? <gasps> the worst. I wish she'd just give up instead of trying all the time. So, uh, what's been going on with you since last time I checked in? Let's see, I topped the honor roll at Madison Prep. I got fives on all my APs. I'm sophomore class president. I lettered in tennis. And I raised $2,000 to fight urban graffiti. And I'm going to try to cure cancer before mom's inedible breakfast. That's all. Awesome. You're awesome, I mean. Didn't dad tell you any of this? Uh, everything's been pretty jacked at the hospital. A lot of stuff happened in a short amount of time. Did dad mention me at all? What's wrong? You have trouble with dad? I always prefer that to what I get. Just nothing. After you got shot, Mom got even more paranoid about Dad. She didn't want me anywhere near him. Every time we'd try to plan something, she'd find a reason to cancel. After a while, I guess he gave up. He certainly didn't put up a fight or anything. Dad, he probably just wanted to honor Alexis' feelings. He knows how dangerous a business is. And... After what happened to me? I don't want to talk about it anymore. <sighs> Why did you take off from the hospital? You would have too. I mean, after all the constant medical attention and my entire family, quartermates included, hovering over me, I just wanted to punch someone, you know? So I came here because I knew I could count on you to help me out. Just tell me what you want me to do. We can't find your son, Mrs. Jackson. Clearly not enough. Elizabeth, can you please call Patrick and find out if there are any medical conditions that I need to worry about in case Michael doesn't come back here tonight? Hey, I got her as soon as I could. What's going on? What's the emergency? Michael took off. You mean from the hospital? Um, yeah. Right after he told me he remembers my voice from when he was comatose. Okay, your voice or what you said about being involved in his shoot? I don't know. I, I, I didn't have time to find out. He didn't have time to answer. This nurse came in. I had to leave. When I got back, he was gone. John, I'm just really scared that he ran away because he's trying to get away from me. Your plan, I have to ask. Have you given much thought? Are you saying I can't stay? Of course not, but Dad, Carl, and Jax are going to be freaked. Dad and Jason are going to have every medic in town combing the streets for you. Christina, it's Jason. Open the door. See, it's happening already. I told you to leave me alone! I know Michael's in there. Open up. Don't worry about this. Christina, I know you think you're helping your brother, but you're making things worse. Michael, come on. Your, your dad's flipping out. So is your mom. Let's go. Quit the stupid game. Michael's not here, and you know it. You came for me. Please look for Michael. And as soon as you find him, let me know. I have to get to him before anybody else does. Right, just stay calm, all right? And call me if he comes back. No. Absolutely. In the meantime, I'm going to take Holly home. My son left this hospital because of you. What the hell did you say to him? What are you talking about? I heard you talking to Johnny, and you said he ran away because of you. What did you I say to him? I'm not doing this with you right Yes, you are. No, I'm not.